Welcome to Stat Plus, your trusted source for insights on current affairs, emerging technologies, and market trends. In today's video, we'll explore India's bold quest to become a semiconductor powerhouse. The Semicon India 2024 conference set the stage for India's ambitious journey to become a global semiconductor hub. With the electronics manufacturing industry in India projected to grow from its current $75 billion to a staggering $300 billion by 2030, the focus on semiconductors couldn't be more timely. Industry leaders at the conference highlighted the sector's potential to create over 6 million high-skilled jobs, promising a transformative impact on India's tech ecosystem. The global semiconductor manufacturing sector has witnessed a seismic shift over the past three decades. In the 1990s, the United States and Europe dominated, accounting for over 75% of the global market share. Fast forward to 2020, and we see a dramatic realignment. Taiwan, South Korea, Japan, and China now collectively account for over 75% of the global market share. This redistribution underscores the dynamic nature of the industry and the opportunities it presents for emerging players like India. A key factor in semiconductor production is the availability of critical minerals such as gallium, germanium, hafnium, and certain rare earth elements. While India has adequate reserves of gallium and rare earth elements, it remains heavily dependent on imports for minerals like germanium, the import reliance for germanium being 100% and hafnium at 80%. This reliance on imports for critical minerals extends beyond semiconductors to other vital manufacturing sectors. Recognizing the strategic importance of semiconductors, the Indian government has allocated $10 billion in incentives, spread over six years, starting in the year 2021. Recent budgets have earmarked $400 million in the year 2023 and $821 million in the year 2024, specifically for semiconductor and display fab development. However, India is not alone in this race. Other major economies are making similar moves. Europe is aiming to invest over $47 billion by 2030, while South Korea has announced a $19 billion support plan. Japan, too, has set aside approximately $25 billion for its semiconductor industry. The common motivation among these countries is to avoid future supply crunches in semiconductors, which can have far-reaching consequences. The aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic vividly illustrated the vulnerability of global supply chains. During this period, the automotive industry faced severe setbacks due to chip shortages. This situation was exacerbated by a surge in demand for chips from the consumer electronics sector, fueled by remote work trends and innovations in media, entertainment, and edtech. To safeguard its growing manufacturing sectors, India must prepare itself to avoid such shortages in the future. India's future in semiconductor manufacturing will play a crucial role in sustaining the growth of its electronics, automotive, and other high-tech industries. Semiconductors are the essential ingredients powering India's manufacturing sectors, and continuing to rely heavily on imports does not offer a sustainable way forward. As India advances with its ambitious plans, developing a robust domestic semiconductor industry will be key to ensuring technological self-reliance and cementing India's position as a global manufacturing powerhouse. Can India become a global leader in semiconductor manufacturing? Do you think India can achieve its semiconductor dreams? What are the biggest challenges ahead? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. India's journey to semiconductor leadership is just beginning, but with the right strategy, the sky's the limit. Thanks for watching. And if you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to StatPlus for more insights on the trends shaping India's future. Stay ahead with us.